Hi guys, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anike. If this is your first time, you're welcome to my channel. If this isn't your first time, how are you guys doing? How is it going? Hope you're well. So in today's video, I want to especially welcome you to another hair tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to make this afro wig. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into the video. Wait, wait. Do not forget to subscribe. Don't just watch. Subscribe you like it subscribe and give me thumbs up all right i'll see you guys soon so starting with everything you need to get your afro wig set i'm going to be using one pack of rosemary kinky bulk guys you can go for any brand i mean like any brand if you're in nigeria you're familiar with this one already if you're not any afro hair or kinky hair will do just that i decided to go for this one because it is softer than the other ones i've seen and one pack is just going to be enough for me anyway so you see all those spiky and sharp stuff you are seeing over there you don't need it i'm just going to show you how to take them out in a bit so up next is getting a mesh wig cap this is actually the best wig cap you can use for this kind of wig also you need to have your crochet pin which is going to be like the primary tool for today so yeah up next we have canvas head guys it's not like very important to have a canvas head if you do not have there are other things you can use i'm going to list them in my description box or just put pictures of them here and put where to get them in my description box all right so let me assume that i'm speaking to beginners who have no idea about wig making the thing is the placement of your wig cap is very important it makes or breaks your wig the outcome of your wig depends on how well you've placed your wig cap just look at how i'm doing it right here so that you can have like an understanding of what i am saying don't forget the pins to hold your wig cap together because that is going to give you like a maximum stability when you are making your wig so let's properly get into this remember the sharp ends i told you about earlier time to get them off we have to cut them off using your scissors or any other thing but trust me use your scissors all right and then you can use your hand to pick them out just to have like a rhyming ends you know so ideally one part of the bundle can be divided into three so you pick one out of those three you attach it to your wig cap using the crochet pin i'm going to be using two methods in doing this so the first one is just to use your hand to draw it out like that i'm just going to repeat this like two or three times so that you can have like full grasp of what this is all about remember this is a detailed tutorial on how to make an afro wig and the second one i'm going to show you now is to use your crochet pin to draw it out this is going to happen when you get comfortable using your crochet pin while making your wig all right so please bear it in mind that we are going from end to end in a curvy manner it's not going to be like a straight line i know for me a straight line we're making it curvy from end to end this part is the hardest part of this wig but, um it's hard it's not as soft as the other part of the wig cap so you need to be careful using your crochet pin to draw things out So now that we are at this part of the wig which is like the front part the crown so guys i want you to understand that at this point you can start forming a proper u you can start forming like a proper letter u while making this one okay 
at this point you're allowed to make it scanty because you want to have like a right proportion because you've been making it bulky from the beginning and if you are getting what i'm saying let me know in the comment section if you are getting this if you need me to go back i can explain in the comment section there is no problem but what i'm trying to say in essence is that this part of the wig has to be scanty so that you can have like a natural look as you can see i didn't put so much effort in the front because of course it's going to be covered To form the scanty fringe, I decided to attach the kinky hair three times in the front, then walked my way up from there. To close the wig, you need to use the tiniest pieces you've got to give it a natural look. the trimming stone to perfect your wig. Of course it has to be neat. So I decided to apply my Cantu Curl Activator. This is not necessary, but if you feel like you have other things to add, but not oil guys, don't put oil, don't rub oil on this one. It's just something to make it pop a little bit. And I felt like this is like a safe, <laughs> safe application. So I started to go in with it. And there you have your Afro wig. If you have never tried making a wig before, you can start with this. To actually help you during your bad hair day, just put on your afro wig and you're good to go guys this is where i'm saying bye bye do not forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up comment and just tell me what you think about the wig if you are trying it you are not going to try it tell me why and um i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye